Hey, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit, but I've been uh, obviously occupied with a small addition to the shop. So this is the new RC four-wheel drive Scottsdale pickup that I have uh, utterly ruined in the best possible way, and that is painting it. Um, so just want something to break up all that blue. Um, it's a beautiful blue, uh, don't get me wrong, but it was a lot of beautiful blue. And it just didn't show the body lines the way I thought it should. So I went ahead and painted it. Um, added some Proline BFGs and some Reef. Uh, I believe these are the hammer wheels. Um, they just they just look awesome on here. Um, truly, they, they just really are a standout. Um, the decals that come in the pickup kit from RC Four Wheel Drive are they're fantastic. Uh, they're very good fit. I just put these on so they're still kind of popping up a little bit here and there, but they uh, they definitely definitely look good. Yeah, I got a couple of runs. I got to sand out once the clear coat cures for a day or two, and then I'll polish that out. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, turned out a, a really really good looking truck. Even while I was waiting for paint to dry, made a bug guard. Uh, I think it kind of fits the fits the look, and it's it's just attached to the hood. Um, nothing under the hood yet, but we're getting there. The inside, I use the Shrink RC bench seat, um, and a little bit of trimming, but it went in quite nicely. Um, also painted the dash um, and the seat with a beige uh, beige color just to uh, kind of set it off a little bit. There's a good, good shot from the side. Got a little carry-all backpack in there, a couple beer cans floating around. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a good looking truck. Uh, as far as running gear wise I took the lift off took it down to main leaf and a helper leaf on the front and the rear uh, changed out the drive shafts put some trio SCX 10 2 drive shafts in it perfect fit absolute perfect fit for this truck um, definitely beefs up the drive line um, other than that uh, let's see what else did I do I put in a, uh, for the lights, I put in the, uh, from my remote, um, I can turn them on and off, and I always like doing that because I don't like the lights on all the time, and uh, I did move it over to my Spectrum DX5 Rugged Orange, just because I like the Spectrum radios better than uh, RC four-wheel drive stock radios, not a big fan of those, but yeah. Um, Inside, I put the the drive pins from the old drive shafts um, into the mounts backwards, and now I just have pins, no threads. So, you know, using screws to put the body on uh, gets to be a pain in the butt, lining everything up and getting it all scratched and egged out. If you put uh, three millimeter, uh, just the all threads pieces in. Uh, like these just grubs if you put those in it saws on the body as the body moves on the pins but if you use drive shaft pins like the stock drive shafts are three millimeter and just thread those plastic standoffs just thread into the plastic standoff and then you can um, put the drive shaft pins in backwards by hand and you just have the pin so nothing saws on the body but there's still plenty of engagement there to keep the body from coming off if and when I roll this thing over a hundred thousand times but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on what was taking up the time and it was this so I'm actually at 
three days of ownership. <laughs> um, oh, and I did, did change out the grill to the other style um, just because I had it. It came with it and liked it. And uh, so that's what I went with. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty truck. And a couple days from now, I'll get these sags from the clear. It's just in the clear. It's not in the paint. Um, I'll get those puffed out and uh, let's start driving this bad boy. So, so uh, getting the paint, uh, getting this line, this curve to match up with the trim kit that came with the truck. Um, just give you a, a little tip here. So on the decal sheet, you can see the, the shoe of where that, where that decal used to sit you can picture this decal is this decal so all I did was take the outside edge of that off of the decal sheet and just cut it out with my exacto knife and then use that as my masking template I just placed it on the body and then um, just made my light score mark and then cut that with my with my razor knife and uh, it's a real easy way to get that perfect horseshoe of where that trim is going to be. Um, makes things a lot easier. Um, also, some of these, uh, the leftovers that are in here, these molding trim pieces uh, where they die cut them smaller, you can use those. Like you can see, I took this one off the decal sheet and I actually uh, just chase trimmed around the paint line of the window um, like I said once this paint fully cures um, a few more changes will take place like I'll, I'll come back and I'll black out the the windshield frame and the, the rear window frame um, make it look like a rubber gasket with some flat black um, you'll notice that these are black um, I just got to come back with my um, my malt, my chrome marker, my liquid chrome, and trim that up. But yeah, that's pretty much pretty easy. And that chrome marker, I also did the edge of the piece of plexiglass that I cut um, the Lexan for the bug shield. Just kind of gives it that chrome edge on it to uh, kind of pop a little bit more. Um, you know, when we ran these back in the 80s and 90s, we always had that door edge guard all going all around there and kind of make it give it that look. But yeah, so there's a few of the details. Um, what's coming up next for this is a GCM LRT2 transmission, which I have. I have the transmission, I just need. Uh, another mounting kit for for the RC four wheel drive, but these transmissions are fantastic. Um, gives you a percentage of front overdrive right out of the right out of the gate. Lets you run a, a scale motor cover over top of the motor, um, and these things are fantastic. Highly recommend this um, if you're going to do any kind of engine bay. Um, these trans are fantastic from GCM, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, once we get there, I'll fill you in on that one too. But thanks for watching.